Hey all, Hippo here. So uh, today is Marco Polo Day, uh, one of the most fun battleships in the game, I believe. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you think that too, or if you don't think so, that's also okay. So uh, I'm using uh, Yachino here as the primary commander, with uh, Cunningham as Scharnhorst as inspirations. So uh, this will give you uh, pretty much the most accuracy you can get on this battleship here, or any Italian battleship for that matter. On the ship, we have the uh, pretty basic uh, usual stuff here for battleships. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. But uh, remember to pick the SEP upgrade in the end. Uh, of course, you don't have to, but I, you know, I like it. Exhaust smoke spotter planes and uh, no less than five heals. So uh, I like this, uh, this setup here and uh, it works well for me. So uh, it's quite rare that I actually really enjoy a battleship. I think there's a handful that I enjoy at like the most. Hayaga is one, Yamato is another one, uh, Cesare down at tier 4 is another one, and that's about it other than Republic as well. So what's that? 4 or 5 battleship in the whole game that I like to play. And uh, the rest, I just can't <laughs> make myself play. And uh, I like Marco Polo because it has sap shells on a battleship. Makes it different. I mean, something different. I like different in this game because Honestly, everything is so samey, samey. And uh, it also gets rolling smoke, which I also like a lot as well. And uh, these two things together, it makes the ship, uh, you know, different enough to make it fun for me to play. And uh, in this game here, we are moving in right off the bat because we have a Mogador uh, division in here that we have to split up and uh, send somewhere else. And uh, I would love to have a sonar on the ship here, actually, because it would allow me to be even more aggressive against destroyers. I mean, the um, sap shells are excellent against destroyers, and uh, they really hurt, especially if you can get these things here broadside. Uh, when they give you the stern or the bow, it's a bit of a different uh, matter, uh, because even if you get hits, it's usually, yeah, they don't really, it doesn't work that well. But if you get broadside destroyers, oh yeah, that's uh, that's why we play this game here. I like Marco Polo because it gives me different options. For example, for backing up my teammates. Look at this Minotaur here. He's pretty exposed uh, to that Conqueror. So we're just going to get a little bit closer here. And then we're going to pop our smoke. I know he's only got like 40 seconds of smoke cover. But I mean, this is going to help a lot. Uh, if he just kept firing and he's even thanking me there. And I, I mean, you can back up your team in other ways than just shooting at the enemy. And uh, battleships usually don't have that many tools for doing this, uh, except for Marco Polo uh, with this smoke here and of course the other Italians. Uh, but like I already said, you also get sap shells here, which I think is just more usable than uh, HG shells on a battleship. And uh, I use them almost exclusively when I play Marco Polo, because why wouldn't I? If I don't want to use sap shells, I could play any battleship, right? So uh, the Minotaur is reversing out of my smoke now, which is... Uh, I know he's trying to torp the battleships. Uh, but he is going to pay for that with his life. And uh, as much as I admire that, I think it would be better to stay alive here. I mean, he's going to torp that Marco Polo that was down to 2% health anyway. And I, did, I was just waiting another 10 seconds and I would take him out anyway. But uh, he's only going to last like a little bit longer. There he goes. And it would have been better if he stuck around to help me with the destroyers because they're just going to run amok now. Uh, and um, it, that's 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 a problem. But, I mean, still, I mean, he did the best he could. So, uh, anyway, I'm not going to give this cap up here because, like I said, if you give this cap up here, you might as well just give up the whole game because uh, once you have this cap, it's so easy to outflank the other team. And uh, it's much, much easier than doing it uh, on the C cap. So uh, that's why I have decided, okay, I'm going to defend this cap to the death and then I just hope that my team can do something good over at B and C because we already have the, the caps. We have all caps, actually. So it's a pretty good start here. Uh, but we lost a cruiser now and there's still two destroyers left on the enemy team and that is a bit of a problem. So uh, we just got to remove this annoying Yoshino here and... Uh, I probably should switch to AP shells here, but uh, yeah, you see he's turning out again. So actually, Sap is the right choice in most circumstances here. So uh, I have accepted my fate in this game here. I'm going to be 
no more than a distraction really over on this flank here because you can see I'm uh, I'm heavily outnumbered. There's two destroyers and a battleship and a cruiser and there's actually two battleships I think. And uh, in a minute, well, actually now <laughs> my destroyer is gone and not just him but both destroyers on our team. So it's even more important I don't give up this cap now here. Uh, so that's why I'm moving in again and uh, like I said I have accepted the fact that um, I'm just going to have to do the best I can to uh, delay the enemies for as long as possible over here. Because uh, especially the two destroyers, I want to keep them over here as long as humanly possible so we can get enough tickets uh, on the other uh, caps so we might actually win this battle here. So I think the Shoshino here thought that I had already left and he's a little bit surprised to see me back. But uh, they just managed to cap uh, the cap here before I get my stern or my bow into it which is oh, I hate when that happens uh, I reversed probably two seconds too far and uh, it just meant that they were able to grab this cap here and uh, that means I'll have to grab it back which we're doing now because uh, it looks like the destroyers uh, are leaving I mean uh, they kept and uh, then they just left so in this case here, I am not shooting at the Yoshino because I want him to come closer. And uh, it is a rare case of me switching to armor piercing in the Marco Polo uh, because someone is spotting this guy and I'm not going to let that uh, you know, go to waste, especially because it looks like he's going to show broadside. So uh, we don't want to give away our position here. If you fire when you're in smoke in Marco Polo, you're going to get spotted from the moon. So uh, you're not sneaky if you, <laughs> if you are firing in smoke. And uh, we've got him now. Just as soon as you're about to fire, he goes unspotted. That's typical. Uh, I can't remember how many times that happens, but it happens a lot. And uh, of course, there's going to be torpedoes incoming, so we're going to have to be prepared for that. But like I said, I want to grab this cap back because uh, it looks like we're not going to win on uh, ships. We're going to win on points in this battle here. So uh, let's get rid of the Yoshino and uh, keep an eye out for torpedoes again. And I don't have to move for the first one there, but the second spread looks like we have to move a little bit forward. But uh, that's it. And moving your battleship forward, it's not difficult. Um, even if someone shoots torpedoes at you, as long as you're not broadside, which you never should be anyway, uh, to the whatever like destroyer or wh whoever it is that's targeting you with, Torpedoes, you'll be fine. At most, you'll take one torpedo at on the bow, which isn't really a big problem. Uh, what is a problem, on the other hand, is this Conqueror here that's moving in. And uh, we do a good chunk of damage there uh, on him, but um, uh, this, is going to be, uh, this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> so uh, I still have 28 seconds until my next heal is ready. I do have lots of heals, so I have three left. Um, but... Really, my plan here is just to cap. Uh, just gonna do it before he hits me. There we go. That's it. That's good. Uh, we're doing well now. We have all three caps. We are way ahead on points. And uh, let's see if we can keep it that way. Uh, but as long as this conquer here isn't showing broadside, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bit of an ask uh, to take him out. And uh, we do get a very nice hit again there. Uh, but that just means that he's going to uh, close the angle here and make it even harder uh, for the next salvo and uh, I stayed at armor piercing because I was thinking oh maybe he's going to turn out and actually deliver me his doom on a plate but um, as it so happens he's actually playing well and turning in instead which is obviously what you should do so uh, I should have loaded sap here and not AP so I'm trying to go for his guns uh, just to see if I can remove one. I did incapacitate it, but I didn't take it out. So uh, I'm just assuming he'll just be able to, you know, uh, fix it. And uh, his secondaries are setting a lot of fires on me. <laughs> but uh, obviously, uh, I don't have that luxury. Uh, so uh, although I should probably win this one here, but because I have two fires going now and I have no damage control, and he's too close for me to smoke up. Like, that would only make sense if he was more than two kilometers away, but he's 1.5, so I can't disappear. And then um, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just bad luck, I guess. So I almost get him with that salvo there, almost with the semi armor piercing, but it is to no avail. I am down to my last hit points here, and that's the end of me. And uh, as you can see, the enemies are getting at the B cap, and in a minute, they're gonna get at the C cap, and they're 
probably going to grab my A cap as well, and that's the end of the game. So uh, it's a game that we really should have won, especially this Des Moines here deciding to take the enemy on, despite having a lead of 200 points. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, what can you do? Uh, you can just, you know, at least try to laugh and uh, move on. But uh, I know it's hard, right? So uh, sometimes when you play Battleship, uh, you're just a bullet sponge. That's pur Your only purpose is to delay the enemy. And your purpose is not to turn around and run away and show broadside to everybody and get removed from the game very, very quickly. Uh, as you can see, I, I did pretty well. Like We didn't win the, the battle, unfortunately, but uh, I defended my side, my flank, as long as I possibly could. And uh, probably did as, as good as could be expected. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you out there.